Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, but are the five waves of energy, are they causing storms on Jupiter that are heating up the atmosphere? And by the way, if the, what's causing the five waves of energy? Are they, is it from planet X or planet 7X or from Nibiru or, or the planet number nine? Whatever NASA wants to rename it every day, it's the same thing. Well, my son at his website, the Crusader Journal, has an, an article put together. It's, Scientists and research astronomers are suggesting a massive continuous storm that often resembles a hurricane on Jupiter. It may be heating up parts of the largest planet in our solar system's atmosphere. This massive storm is more famously known as the Great Red Spot and has been ongoing for more than a century. It's twice the size of planet Earth. Scientists and research astronomers from the United States and the United Kingdom are claiming that heat from the sun doesn't accurately define why parts of Jupiter's atmosphere are much warmer than on other parts of this giant planet. The journal Nature published a scientific research paper online that suggests the upper atmosphere of Jupiter is continuously being bombarded with from beneath it by an either a sound or gravitational waves. Or is it the five waves of energy? And is it coming from a binary system or from planet X? Nibiru, is this the destroyer that will eventually bring about wormwood? Or is, it, is these waves also bringing increased amounts of, of asteroids, uh, which will eventually lead to two deep impacts in the book of Revelation chapter 8? And get this, we're on our second wave of energy. Last year, the first wave hit us on August the 17th, it was just a ripple effect. The second wave is approaching, uh, is still targeted for December 26th of this year, wave number two, much larger, much, much larger and powerful. And as it approaches, we'll continue to see uptick in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and straight line winds and chargeable particles in the atmosphere, which then enhances the thunderbolts and lightnings. Also, we're having what's called rain bombs. We talked about this last week, how it's affected Houston, Texas, how it affected uh, West Virginia. Well, Sunday, I just did a video on it last week, and then what happened Sunday afternoon? In a two-hour period, just outside of Baltimore, Maryland, it rained a half a foot of rain. It rained six inches of rain in two hours. It was a rain bomb, which created a massive flooding, a violent flash flood, killing two, a hundred people had to be rescued. There is some more missing. We have to continue up on the story. So there's something shaking the heavens. Jesus said the heavens will be shaken. And even the stars will fall from heaven. In other words, there's going to be more meteorites and asteroids entering our atmosphere. And is, so is this one of the clues? Is this one of the clues? Has Bart Begley uh, pulled together some information here that may be showing us some of the clues that we're hearing from all of these uh, uh, different uh, scientists and astronomers. As a matter of fact, the uh, scientific research study published by the journal Nature uh, was based on evidence gained using observations made by NASA's Infrared Telescope Facility, which is located in Hawaii. If you want the full report, I'll put the link below. You can go to his website, check it out. But I'm telling you, and I'd be interested to get Mike from around the world's take on this information uh, and, uh, and uh, others out there uh, to find out just what is taking place. Was Gil Brazard correct? about Planet X and what it will do shaking the heavens. And is it, is it the, the cause, the source 
of the uh, five waves of energy? And if so, then Jesus' prophecies of the end times are upon us. We're in the apocalyptic era. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Be born again. But find the joy. Okay, listen to this. Jesus said, the thief cometh not, but for to kill, steal, and destroy. But I've come to give you peace. And I've come to give you life, in other words, and give you life and give it to you more abundantly. Okay, so you can be blessed. I know the world's in trouble, but you are one of God's children. You can be blessed. Call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. God bless.